When it comes to reporting in RegPack, we provide you with multiple options to extract the exact information that you're looking for. After you've ensured that your system is capturing all the information precisely as you need it to, you're probably wondering how to create those ideal reports. We'll walk you through some of the commonly requested reports that our support team gets questions on, but before that, let's review how reporting in RegPack works. When thinking about running reports, there are a few main sources of information. You can pull a user report in Users, which extracts information directly from the forms and user data. But you can also run a sales report in Products to determine things like selections, orders, payments, quotas, waitlists, and much more that can be merged with a user report. Additionally, we have a tool within RegPack that can help you sort your data nicely before you run that report, our filtering function. Filters, found in your Users tab, allow you to sort and narrow down your users to your exact specifications. You can use the filtering tool to see only those who have ordered a certain product, everyone who has not yet closed their balance, or everyone that meets a condition of your choosing. Stack filters on top of each other to create the exact conditions that you're looking for. View our Users Module tutorial for more information on setting up filters. Once you know these three reporting tools, you can begin thinking about how to get your data in the way that you need it to use RegPack to its fullest potential for your business. Here are some of our most frequently requested reports. How do I run a roster of users in a class? Well, to find this information, use our filtering tool to limit your list of registrants to everyone who has ordered this class. Simply head to Users, click the search bar, click Products and Services, find your class, and click Ordered. Now, you can run a report containing any information you'd like, and you'll only have your roster of students. How do I find out who paid for a product? Filtering can achieve this as well. In the search bar, click Products and Services, find your product, and click Paid to filter for a full list of paid registrants. How do I find users who owe a balance or don't owe a balance? Surprise! Filtering! Choose Payments, Applicant Payment Status, and choose your specific needs from the Condition drop-down menu. How much did I make this year? For this, you'll want to run a sales report. Head to Products, select all of your applicable products, and click Sales Report where you can download a CSV file that contains the information that you're looking for. What did I pay in processing fees this year? Payment Reports will net you this information. Head to Payments and click Payment Report. Fee Paid to Processor is a default field that will appear on this report. Whose payments didn't go through on Autobill? Head to Settings, Autobill, and click on the plan to see all of your enrolled registrants. You'll see an overdue label on those who are overdue. What payments were made this month? In Payments, you can also use the filter tool to set a date range in which payments were made. Dates will currently calculate from the end of the date selected, so be sure to include one extra day at the beginning of your date range. How do I find all of a user's emails? Simply head to Users, click on your registrant, and click on the Emails tab to see all the emails that have been sent to them. We hope this video has inspired you to play around with the vast reporting tools at your disposal to get all the information that you need out of your system. If you're still having trouble finding a way to create the reports that you need, reach out to our lovely support team for assistance by clicking on the Help tab.